Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Jabberelli of Jabberelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. Well, today I'm here doing crypto trading on Robinhood. I've talked about Robinhood just recently. I've been using Robinhood for quite some time. Um, but this is not talking about investing explicitly with stocks and dividends. This time I'm talking about crypto. So. Crypto trading on Robinhood is a little weird compared to maybe if you've ever traded anywhere else. One, you can only trade on Robinhood. You can't bring Bitcoin from somewhere else and put it on Robinhood and then trade with Ethereum and sell and move it somewhere else off of Robinhood. They hold your wallet. You can't get into it. It's all just here on the platform. But one of the neat things about crypto on, well, any market, not just on Robinhood is you can trade all day. Well, when you're doing trading with um, stocks and options and securities and whatnot in the regular market for the US market, you can only trade between the hours that the market is open. And of course, that means if there's a holiday and it's closed, you can't trade then anyway. So you definitely can't trade on the weekend and you can only trade during the day. And that's Eastern time since that's where Wall Street is in New York, New York City. So. I've been putting a tiny amount of money, about 30, 30 bucks, into all the coins. Now I have a plan for doing this, and that's what, something I want to talk about when it comes to crypto trading. I am rather risk averse, that is, uh, reluctant to take risks with crypto because I've been burned so many times. I've lost several thousand dollars. I've made several thousand, but I've lost several thousand, so I'm a lot more hesitant to put a lot of money into crypto, unless I know what I'm doing. I bet relatively small amount of my total portfolio. So you really want to plan, in my opinion. I'm not saying you don't, you don't have to do anything I say. And not, this is not a requirement. This is just what I do. I plan in and out. So I plan a four to 5% increase, or if I'm betting against the market, decrease. I pick an amount and then I set a sell amount as well. So I say, okay, I think the price is going to be, let's see, we're it's at there like 127-ish right now. Let's say I bought, you know, five bucks at 127. And then it goes up 5%. No, I don't know when it's going to go up 5%, but I'm betting at some point it is. You can see the market here over the last day. It's gone up and down. It has, definitely has not gone up 5%. But at some point it's going to go up or and or down that percentage. So I leave it in 5%. Then I sell and I take the profit and I move it over to the dividend space or the stock market. So I know I actually can't do it until the market, stock market opens again. Right now it's the weekend and I can't do that. But I try to take a per that percentage, my mark amount and move it out and then continue to reinvest with the original amount of money. So I actually made a profit if in fact I do make a profit. Now I will say that since the, the volatility of cryptocurrency can be pretty high the likelihood of getting it yeah, is probably sooner than later. Like, do I know they've been saying that, uh, you know, Tesla stock is going to go 420 or maybe it already has. Um, and, but that's a bet. I mean, maybe it's going to go to 500. Do I know for certain? That certainly, is that 5% of what I invested? In? Maybe it will. But crypto is not based on the things that, you know, people can't say it's going to do this, it's going to do that. We don't know. It, it's really hard. There's too many factors involved, or maybe there's not enough factors involved. Nevertheless, it's more like just hoping it will go up or hoping it will go down, depending upon which way you're betting. So I take the, the earnings once I get it and I move it out. So I'm currently betting a relatively small amount, like I said, 30 bucks. And in, at least in one, two cases rather, two, two different coins here, ETC and BCH, Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum, I made a tiny amount of profit on each. And I left that in there. Now, normally I would just take this, this 10 cents, which I realize is not a whole lot of money out, and then reinvest my original $5. So once these, all these other $5, originally $5 amounts go back up to $5, actually $5 and, you know, let's say 20 cents high or 10 cents high, I will take the 10 cents out and let the rest of it continue going. And that's kind of my way of managing a risk averse to cryptocurrency. So. You got any questions, leave them in the comments. Remember, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will be putting out more videos about this topic. Catch you on the flip side.